Hey guys, this is a quick video of how to turn your floor plans into a more artistic rendering and mainly because a lot of times we have our floor plans which I'll show you guys my floor plan here and this is with ChatGPT. So this is the floor plan that I have and I know that a lot of times it is maybe a little too plain, right? Like this is very kind of more, more shown for um, architectural construction documents and I know that sometimes when we have meetings with a client a lot of them understand a lot of them don't so a lot uh, a lot of them that's why we sometimes do have 3d views uh, 3d models and stuff but sometimes adding just that three-dimensionality to the floor plan and giving that more sense of more schematic right especially when you're in the conceptual phase Maybe showing something like this, maybe a little more scary. This is more li more something you want to say for construction documents or for the design development. But kind of looking a little bit on the previous video that I did, uh, you recall it was mainly uh, kind of generating these artistic uh, renderings um, based on a 3D model. So let like you guys know that you can use this for floor plan sections perspectives. It's just that we get caught with 3D 3D view. So kind of reiterate a little bit on what I did the last video, we're gonna do the same video here. So this video here, but we're gonna do it with a floor plan. So this is the floor plan I have or as far as furniture and everything, you, you, you kind of put your own sense in there. I would recommend that if you're gonna put text, you generate like a high quality JPEG because for instance, in this particular case, ChatGPT is not really able to read my text really well, so it just automatically puts any name to it and you're gonna see it later. But for it to kind of keep as much visibility as possible as, as it, if you wanted to say living room, make sure that you give it a high resolution image that is very clear what it says. But because I, gener I, I took a screenshot of this, um, it's more difficult for the AI to read the, the text so it starts just guessing. So for text, really try to bring out a high resolution image. Um, so this is the prompt that I'm using, right? Render this space image into black, prepare an artistic. So this is the result I got. And again, this is first result. You can always from here tell it to sharpen the image or to l use less gray, to use more whites. And you can really start playing with the style. I'm just kind of here right now, gonna give you, giving you a really quick way to how to do it, but then just know, once you click on it, uh, you can tell it to adjust, you know, something, make it clearer, make it wider, make it, you know, and so you can adjust, but this is just an example for you to kind of show what type of renderings you can do. And you see kind of, you can add that three dimensionality right to it, right? And this is kind of what I told the prompt I'm saying, black artistic pen drawing, you can put any style in there. Ultra artistic, again, you can potentially say artistic or you cannot even use that. I said add three dimensionality and atmospheric effects. You can probably put some lighting in there. So that's why it's really starting to add this shadow here to add that sort of level of three dimensionality. And this becomes a lot less plain than that, right? Like now, of course, uh, if I were you, I will potentially adjust this image a few more times so it's more clear and then bring it to Photoshop just to change a little bit the contrast and that's it and, and, and you have like a great image. Now we're gonna play a little bit with, and you see how it really keeps a very good like resolution of the, the image as far as furniture goes. It keeps the, the furniture exactly where it is. It doesn't really change any of that. So that's the thing I really like. Uh, now we're gonna go to the next style. So the next style I'm using here is a photorealistic rendering. And here is what you can see. And again, this is probably, this is what I'm gonna show you here that it kind of messed up the text. And what I would recommend is that you bring a high resolution image so it keeps the text going. I don't know why it doesn't allow me to open it. But so this is more or less what it it's showing me. Now, if you wanted to kind of give you a more, for instance, you see how he gives me like wood where there's no really wood here. So what I would recommend is like once you are here, then you can adjust it and say, hey, there's no wood in that last bedroom or make sure all the flooring is wood or make sure all the flooring is indicated. Uh, adjust this image so it is indicated. Let's 
see if it actually works. But you can see how you have that level of photorealism and it keeps the, it kind of, you see how here it starts messing a little bit with the furniture. So it's not 100% perfect. I think if you really want it to be better, I think is really try to bring in the high resolution images. This is a print screen. I really recommend the high resolution images. Try to avoid the text at the beginning. I, that's something I would do in Photoshop. But if you are gonna do make ChatGPT do the text, then bring as high resolution image as you can so it's as clear. And make sure that the prompt you said without changing any detail, including text. So that's another image. And then here we're going to a more watercolor thing. Here you see how it says pantry, where that's not a pantry. Living room, island. So oh, it, it got these ones right. It didn't get this one right, didn't get that one right. So that's why you want this high resolution image. And then from here, I really start saying, hey, add more detail and sharpness to the, to make it more clear. And you see how it starts kind of getting it a little more clear. But then you can adjust saying, hey, I want to, I don't want it to yellow. I want to adjust the tint. But here is just to kind of show you a little bit of the style that was created. And then this was here to adjust the floor in here. But so this is kind of what I want to show you guys is just that you have to treat the floor plan as an image. So you just tell it to render it with a specific style, with specific resolution and to add shadows or three dimensionality or materials. That's fine too. But you can add, you can render floor plans and give them that more sense of being more schematic and more, uh, you see how here now it changes and now all the floor is white. But you see how these adds a lot more. This looks a lot better than these, specifically going to a presentation. When you're gonna have that those first meetings with a client, you these looks a lot softer and something that you know the client might be able to kind of engage a little bit more than just a very like floor plan here centric, right? This looks very more like rigid, whereas the other one looks softer. And I get it that it's gonna be a, doing a little mistakes here and there but most of the time is keeping it really nice. So I hope this, this works. Uh, you can copy my uh, prompts here. So just make sure to stop the video, copy the prompt in your chat GPT or me journey, and then you can kind of go from there. Uh, if you like the video, please give me a like, a subscribe, and please let me know what other videos that you would like to see regarding architecture and AI. Thank you.